nearer. He is great Caesar. What touches us ourselves shall be last, sir. Uh, delay not. Caesar, beat it instantly. What is the bellow man? Oh, give place. What, urge your petitions in the street? Come to the capital. I wish your enterprise today may be proud. What enterprise, please? Very well. What simple Elias Lane wish to be our enterprise, my cry. I fear our purpose is discovered. <clears throat> what carries made to Caesar? Mark him. Cast him. So, for we fear prevention. This, this be known. What shall be done? This be known. Cassius or Caesar never shall turn. But I will say, be constant. Elias Lane speaks not of our purposes. For look, he smiles and Caesar doth not change. Triple says this kind of lovely words. Draws Mark Anthony out of the way. Where's Metellus Cimber? Let her go and presently prefer her suit to Caesar. She's a I see her in a second term. Casca, if you were the first that raised your hand. Are we all ready? What is now amiss that Caesar and his Senate must redress? Most high, most mighty, most noble Caesar, Metellus Cimber throws before they see you, humble heart. I must prevent thee, Cimber. These couchings and lowly courtesies might fire the blood of ordinary men and turn preordinance and first decree into the law of children. Be not fond to think that Caesar bears such rebel blood that will be thawed from the true quality with that which melteth fools. Thy brother by decree is banished. If thou dost bend and pray and bond for him, I spurn thee like a cur out of my way. No, Caesar doth not wrong, nor without cause will he be satisfied. Is there no greater voice than my own to sound sweetly and greet Caesar's ear with the healing of my banished brother? I kiss thy hand, but not in flattery. Desire thee that public Simber have an immediate freedom of her heel. What, Brutus? Pardon Caesar, Caesar, pardon it. As low as to thy foot the Cassius fall to beg and franchise the Procopius Simber. I could be well moved if I were as you. If I could pray to move, prayers would move me. But I am constant as the northern star, of whose true fixed and resting quality there is no fellow in the firmament. The skies are painted with unnumbered sparks. They are all fire and every one doth shine. But there is but one at all doth hold his place. So in the world tis furnished well with men. And men are flesh and blood and apprehensive. Yet in the number I do know one that unassailable holds on his rank, unshaped of motion, and that I am he. Let me a little show it, even in this, that I was constant, Simber should be benched, and constant do remain to keep him so. O oh, Caesar, hence! Wilt thou lift up Olympus? Great Caesar! Doth not Brutus bootless kneel? Speak hands from me! Caesar. <laughs> 